ABC presents an original motion picture produced especially for the movie of the week. Tonight on the movie of the week. But I don't want to get married. Herschel Bernardi is a recently widowed accountant. The threats to his single status are many. Shirley Jones, Tina Louise, June Lockhart, Sue Lyon. You're so wise, Mr. Benjamin. So mature. Laura, I'm old enough to be your father. Practically. ABC presents the movie of the week. Benjamin and these are my two kids. We're just returning from my sister-in-law Hallie's house where we spent a month. You see, my wife Sylvia passed away a couple of months ago. Now wait, don't get me wrong, this is not going to be a grim story. But don't get me wrong again, a wife passing away is not a funny thing either. You see, right now we're on our way back to the apartment and well, what am I talking about? You'll look and you'll see. I know, boys. We're lucky to have survived the visit. you and the boys. I was so sorry to hear about your wife passing away. Well, those things happen. If you ever need a hand, give a holler. I will, Mrs. Green. Thank you very much. How is that poor man ever going to be able to take care of those two boys alone? You get married again, they all do. Not him. He was so devoted to his wife. He never even looked at another woman. Now he'll look. Okay, hurry up, boys. Get your books. The school bus won't wait. Come on, run. A big jump! The keys. We need the keys. Oh, hold the key. Oh, it's the back. All right. Come on, kids. My arm is getting tired. I'm winning. I'm winning. I beat you. All right, listen now. Remember what your mother said. Uh, uh, school. Get good marks in school. Don't, don't worry. We will. Except in geography. I stink in geography. Well, don't stink. Try harder. Do I have to? Yes, you have to. You better let us go. We're going to miss the bus. Oh, oh. Take care of yourself, Dad. Your suitcase, the key. Oh, well, listen, you got lunch money? Yes. All right. Thank you. 
I be doing? I'm carrying on. Uh, uh, the best I can. I'm, uh, a woman? What makes you think I want a woman? Oh, a cleaning woman. No, it's too soon for that, Harry. Now, Sylvia gave the apartment a thorough cleaning before she passed away. Helen says that if you need a woman, uh, ours has a half a day free every other Tuesday. Oh, every other Tuesday. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, Helen also says if you need anything, just give us a ring, huh? Oh, all right, thank you. Thank you very much, Harry. Thanks for calling. down the hall. Mrs. Harris? I, I know. I've seen you. I, you have? I mean, from time to time. Won't you come in? Oh, if I'm not disturbing you. No, I, not at all. I, you work at home, don't you? Yes, yeah, sometimes. I, I'm an accountant. It's I, so funny how you can live right down the hall from somebody and never even know them. Yeah, it is funny. <laughs> oh, I, I heard about your wife. I'm terribly sorry. Oh, thank you. We met a few times in the elevator. You did? We never spoke. Well, she had a lot on her mind. Oh, I, I didn't mean that as a criticism. <laughs> Nobody speaks in our elevators. <laughs> I almost spoke to you once in the laundry room. Oh, why didn't you? I didn't have the nerve. <laughs> the bashful type, huh? I guess so. I like that. You do? Uh, Jack, my ex-husband, he'd speak to anybody, anywhere. Oh, some men are like that. Loud mouth. Mm, extroverts. A loud mouth. Are you divorced? Hmm? No, 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 look, don't touch that. I, I made that from the movie, Mutiny and the Bounty. Bounty? I saw it on television. You are divorced, then. Didn't you know? How could I know? Oh, people talk, the neighbors. Well, yeah, but who listens? I mean, I haven't gotten past the hello stage with any of them. You've gotten past the hello stage with me. Of course. Hello? Oh, hello, Hallie. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Please, no. It's not necessary. No, Hallie. Just don't bother about it. Forget it. Uh, Hallie, please, I'm not going to stand here arguing with you. I have a lot of work to do. Stay. You have work to do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Hallie, I'm in the middle of work. Now, no, absolutely not. No, I'll, I'll call you back. You better go. No, don't go. I'm keeping you from your work. What work? Oh, the phone. Oh, no, that was, that was my wife's sister. You're not busy? No, oh, the tax deadline is months away. You shouldn't lie to your wife's sister. Lie to her? I shouldn't even talk to her. Can't stand that woman. You know what she wants to do? What? She wants to come over here and make a big dinner for us. Oh, what's wrong with that? You never taste her a pot roast. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Harris. <gasps> name is Evelyn. My name is Walter. Nice name. It is? I like it. Can I get you some coffee, an apple, uh, gum? No, not a, not a thing. I didn't come here to make work for you. Well, what would be a pleasure? Would really... No, I, I, I don't want to think. Are you sure? <laughs> Positive. Look, I came to be of some help to you. Well, I can manage fine. I... <laughs> well, I'd better be running along then. I have an appointment with the hairdresser. All right. Next time I go to the laundry room, say hello. Oh, I sure will. Uh, when, when, when's the next time you do your laundry? When it's dirty. No, I mean, you know. I... <laughs> Look, I'll, I'll ring your bell. The next time I go to the laundry room. Uh, promise? I, I promise. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Hallie, I, 
I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to be so irritable. I, but you keep interrupting me in the middle of my work. Uh, yeah, I, I, I apologize. I'm sorry. Yeah. Again. I'm really not very hungry, Aunt Hallie. Neither am I. Yeah, the soup filled us up. Oh, nonsense. No, it, it, it really it was, it didn't. Uh... <clears throat> there you go. Mm. I, 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 I... Enough, enough. Look, I, I know how you feel. I feel, too, but I know that Sylvia wouldn't want you to fast. No, you don't know how we feel, Happy. We hate pot roast. Eat your pot roast, boys. No, he, he doesn't have to eat it if he doesn't want to. Could he? No, 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 no. Ah, take back your meat. But Aunt Hallie said... Do what I say. Okay. Isn't it delicious, huh? Don't press your luck, Hallie. Listen, you're not doing me any favor to eat this pot roast. We appreciate We realize <clears throat> how you put yourself out in preparing this uh, meal. And we do appreciate it, Aunt Hallie. Don't we, Bernard? I'd appreciate it if you'd stop kicking me under the table, Carl. <clears throat> you know, I have a good mind to let you fend for yourselves. If I hadn't promised my sister that I... I'd watch over you. For how long? Well, and, uh, until I can find a good wife for you. But I don't want to get married. Eat your pot roast. I don't want to get married. Eat your pot roast, all of you. Hey. What? I was married for years and the most wonderful woman in the world, so? No, nothing. So I pushed my luck. Is this widow that Hallie wants you to meet, is she rich? I don't know. Did she say? I didn't ask. It makes a difference. Not to me, it doesn't. I'm not going to marry any woman, especially one that Hallie picks out for me. Look, Walter, you don't have to marry. You just have to go out with her. Will you stop it? You sound just like Hallie. Sorry, Walter. It's just that you have to think about your future. You got to forget about Sylvia. You got the children. All right, all right. I'll go out with her. Can I have my coffee now? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Can I have my hamburger? I had the one with onions. Oh. That's it. Mm. I had the sugar. Right. <clears throat> Is your apartment dirty yet? Will you stop at the apartment? I'm sorry. It's just that Helen's worried about our every other half a day Tuesday. Uh... I know. Half a Tuesday is made. I know. I know all about it. A good maid is hard to find. I'll keep it in mind. You know, I think it's very nice of your sister-in-law to want to introduce you to a woman. Harry, I want to ask you a question. If your wife dies, is her sister still related to you? That's an interesting question. You know what I mean? Like, Hallie was nothing to me before I married Sylvia. But once I married Sylvia, suddenly she's my sister-in-law. But now she's still nothing to me. Benjamin. Oh, do come in. Hallie described you beautifully. She should have been a writer. <laughs> Very nice place you have here. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad that you like it. I always say part of the joy of having lovely things is being able to share them. <laughs> That's a very fine attitude. You know, Hallie and I are old friends. Did you know that we go way back? Oh, but uh, that would be giving away too much, wouldn't it? I wouldn't want you to do that. Oh, well, not that I'm one to keep secrets, mind you. Well, there's nothing wrong with keeping a secret. I mean, that's what secrets are for, isn't it? That's why they call them secrets. I never thought of that. My 
You're a very profound thinker. Why, well, I... Now, don't be so modest. <laughs> I always say, what's true is true. That's true. Oh, I can see we're going to get on beautifully. How would you like a nice cup of tea? The movie starts in 20 minutes. Who cares? <laughs> when two people with so much in common encounter one another, oh, there'll be many, many movies. What? In my humble opinion. Well, you see, I heard it's a very good picture, and, and, and I would like to see it from the beginning. <laughs> Mr. Benjamin, I always say, motion pictures are just an imitation of true life. My late husband. <laughs> Over here. Come on. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Benjamin. Yes. Would you please move that very expensive piece? Of course. <clears throat> Sit down. <laughs> if you'll notice, until now I have scrupulously avoided the Grim Reaper. I beg your pardon? The subject of death. Oh, yes, I noticed that. Oh, it's not that I'm an unfeeling woman. Quite the contrary, if the truth were known. <laughs> it's just that I always say, why discuss something we are powerless to control? Oh, I know a lot of people who discuss the weather. Well, that's different. We discuss the weather so we'll know what to wear. I never thought of that. You see, we bring each other in sight. <laughs> One lump or two? Three. Three? Three. So much sugar isn't good for you. Probably not. I'll put in two. Please, put in three. My Maurice died of complications surrounding cholesterol. Sorry to hear that. That a word to the wise suffice. Your wife always let you have three lumps? Always. She didn't encourage you to use saccharin? She used saccharin. I'll drop the subject. Thank you. Temporarily. <coughs> Mrs. Vale. Please call me Gloria. Mrs. Vale, I have children at home. I don't want to leave them alone too long. You left your children home alone? No, they're big boys. Children should not be left home alone at night. Well, not too often. Even once is too often if something should happen. The point I'm trying to make is that I would like to see this picture, and I really thought that you wanted to see it, too. Mr. Benjamin, say no more. Your wish is my command. I'll go get my wrap. Walter, did I enjoyed the movie, yes. But isn't she lovely, huh? Lovely, lovely, lovely. You know, she'd like to see you again. Fine. Uh, when things ease off, I'll call her, Hallie. i got to get back to work, please. Uh, uh, so long. Thanks for calling. <laughs> Dad, could you help me with my math? Sure. Of course, my boy. I'll be very, very, very glad to 
help you with your mathematical problems. <clears throat> now, let's see. What seems to be the problem here? Number four. Number four. Well, what you do is you... I mean, N. Find for N. What's N? Don't you know? Carl, do you know this stuff? No, that's the new math. It was introduced below my class. It's below mine, too. Mom always used to be able to help me with it. Let's face it, kid. Things are going to be a lot tougher around here without your mother. Why don't you know the new math? You're an accountant. I have old clients. I don't see why I have to learn something that people who came before me don't even have to learn. You know, that's, a, that's an interesting statement. But it made me very hungry. Me too. Look, we'll make supper and uh, we'll get back to whatever this is later. Okay. What are we going to have to eat, Pop? Your favorite soup. isn't food. Milk is the perfect food, dummy. Don't they teach you that in school? What else do we have to eat? What else? How about Aunt Hallie? No Aunt Hallie. No Aunt Hallie's. Oh, no Aunt Hallie. You can have all the milk you want. I don't drink milk. Of course you don't drink. That's why we got so much milk. What do you want? Why don't we go out and eat? We can't go out to eat every time we get hungry. Why not? Because we're a family, and a family's got to stay together in the house and eat together like people. So what's for dinner? What's for dinner? This is what's for dinner. Here. Go down and buy meat. What kind of meat? Quick cooking meat. Does it come in a can? How do I ask the man? Do I have to teach you everything? Oh, boy, the sports page. Yeah, well, that's what I was... Huh? <laughs> How long haven't you been ringing milk? Since I was a little kid. Milk is good for you. I don't like it. I don't care whether you don't like it or not. Drink it. Okay. Okay what? I'll start drinking it. Don't forget. I won't. I'm going to start checking on you kids. I'm all out of clean underwear. Why'd you say so? I never had to with Mom. I'll, uh, I'll do the laundry after, uh, after supper. I got the hiccups. It's because you don't drink milk. I thought you said you were going to do my math with me after supper. Oh, well, I'll do both. Also, the house is getting sort of dirty. Looks pretty clean to me. There's a ring around the bathtub. I'll call Harry. Your friend Harry? Mm-hmm. Does he clean bathtubs? He's a cleaning woman. Will he lend her to us? Yes. Every other Tuesday for a half a day. That's fair. Give me back the sports page, will you? This is a good article here. Walter, I warned your half day might close out. Yesterday? To get a good maid these days, you have to move fast. Oh, Harry, but you promised. Just, it's getting dirty here. Harry, please. How about Helen? Sorry, Walter. slow, but competition is rough. You're a dying race. Nobody needs you. Like the American Indians, huh? It's your fault, too. Look at you. You ought to go to a health farm. Take care of yourself. Hi, Jog. Here's a customer. Jog out the back door. Chow. Chow? Yes? I need a woman. Who sent you? Oh, nobody. I was just driving by and I happened to see a sign. What kind of a woman are you looking for? 
Well, I'm not very particular. Uh, somebody who is a clean person and, and, and not too old. I see. I'm not too young either. I want somebody with experience. You ain't a cop, are you? I'm an accountant. How do I know? Oh, here's my card. Are you usually this particular? I have to be. I can't go sending my women out to every jerk that comes in off the street, can I? I guess you can't. You see, a friend of mine was supposed to fix me up with somebody, but unfortunately, she's booked solid. And I... You want a woman for the day or the evening? The day. Go to the kids are home at night. How about her? Can I have her? If you want her. I want her. Is she clean? Like a whistle. Is she available on a regular basis? How often did you have in mind? About half a day every other week. That could be arranged. What if I want her more often? That could be arranged. When can I have her? When do you want her? Is it up to me? You're the customer! Well, I'm surprised a girl like this isn't booked solid. She usually is, at night. Oh, uh, what about this afternoon? I might not be able to get in touch with her so soon. How about tomorrow morning? Great. Where do you want to meet her? In my apartment. Where else? She'll be there at nine. Her name is Olga. Olga, I'll remember that. Take the picture with you, if you like. I work at home, and I, I didn't... Uh, uh, didn't Mr. Gould tell, uh, tell you? No, no, he didn't. Uh, it's all right with you, isn't it? If you say so. Ugh. I won't be in your way or anything, will I? <laughs> Where should I change? Uh, right, and, uh... <laughs> let me ask you a question. Listen, it's your half day. Spend it any way you want. Well, I... <clears throat> How did you, I mean, I mean, how did you get into this line of work? You mean a nice girl like me? Yeah, well, exactly, that's right. <laughs> no, 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 I mean it. No, no, no really. I'm... Hey, I'm serious. come on. <laughs> Stop putting me on. No, <laughs> Where's the bathroom? <laughs> there, I'll, no, I'll show you. I'll show you where it is. Okay. This way. Oh, the bathtub has a ring around it. So. <laughs> so if you need me, I'll be in there, all right? I mean, uh, fortunately, yes. I'm sorry you missed out on ours. You, you would have liked it. Oh, oh, well, if the one I have is, I think it's going to work out all right. Well, I hope so. Good mate's hard to find. Yeah, that's what you told me. Yeah. Uh, I'll let you get back to work. Uh, 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 thanks, thanks, Harry. I'm ready. What are you wearing? My working clothes. Goodbye, Harry. Princess Grace? How are the boys? Fine. Fine. That's nice. 
Why don't you just get up? Oh, uh, I, my sweater was inside. I, uh, my... I thought I'd surprise them, so I went out and I got some good, healthy food. Well, uh, the boys don't go in for surprises much, Hallie. What's this? That's what it is. You mean nobody ate any of it all this time? Nobody. You don't like my pot roast. Well, no. I knew Bernard didn't. Well, he's not alone. Oh. What am I supposed to do with this? I'll, I'll, I'll pay for it. Do I ask you for money? All I want is a little appreciation. Look at this place. It's filthy. I thought you said you were going to get a cleaning woman. Oh, well, I did. I mean, I am. I am. Do you want me to arrange to get someone in for you? Oh, no, I, I will. I, I already have. I told you I'd stop by on my way to the laundry room. Oh, yes, I remember. Well, I'm going now. Can I do a load for you? Um, I'll be there in ten minutes. I'll be waiting. Uh, would you like to read the newspaper I finished them? No, thank you. Are oh, you smart? <laughs> Who needs to read about all the troubles in the world these days? <laughs> Bye. Hmm. Hello. I'm here. We have the laundry room all to ourselves. That's true. Is that your laundry? Oh, I, I, um, I did two loads last night, so I didn't. So why'd you come down here? To see you. How are you children? Oh, fine, fine. Oh, considering. Oh, I wish I could do something for them. You're a very considerate person. I mean it. What do you know about the new map, Mrs. Harris? Evelyn. Evelyn. What's that? What? The uh, math. New math. What they teach the kids in school nowadays. So what's wrong with the old math? Nothing. Sometimes I think they're going a little too far. I mean, making everything new, 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 always new. Right. After all, I mean, old isn't necessarily obsolete. Well, that's right. It doesn't, certainly doesn't have to be. I mean, do you know a modern factory that can make a violin like Stradivarius? No, I don't know any such place, and, and, and never will be such a place, ever. Do you know much about music? I keep it open. Uh. What? Do you know much about music? I like to listen. Hmm. Do you mind if I tell you something? I think you have the soul of a musician. I can't hold a tune. Soul isn't concerned with memorizing tunes. Well, you're an easy person to talk to, Evelyn. Hmm. My ex-husband doesn't think so. Your ex-husband is a loudmouth. Oh, such a vulgar person and so un... Cultured. Uh, yes. Do you know he never once asked me to go to the music center? Do you want to go to the music center? Oh, not by myself. Well, well, I mean, if you, if you like to go to the music center, uh, I mean, if you don't want to go by yourself, so what's, uh, you know, what's to go with me? Walter. It would be a privilege. Well, the, the neighbors, uh, I'd be embarrassed if they knew anything. Oh, they don't have to know. That's right, they don't no. have to, I mean, we don't have to talk to Absolutely. each other or anything, in the hall or Nothing. anywhere. We can just be... Oh, is this the laundry room? It's the laundry room. It looks wonderful. Relax, relax. I've got to go. I'm going to be well, late. You want to look nice, don't you? Yes, I do want to look uh, nice. Right. Oh, good. Thank you. Put it on. Go on. Right. 
It's a nice looking shirt. It really looks nice. Thank don't you. Don't wrinkle it too much. No, I won't. Right. Come here. Come. All right, don't move around too much. Then. Dad, you're wonderful. Good night. Good night. Oh, can I have three dollars? Oh. Three dollars. When I was a kid, it was 45 cents. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Don't come home too late. I won't. Maybe you should come home late. Dad? What? What's whales? Oh, whales. Well, they're mammals. That's because they breathe air like people. Whales in the British Isles. Oh, that whales. That's Welsh. I mean, it's uh, you get like from Scotch, you get Scotland. Uh, and from Wales, you get Welsh. I know, Dad. But what is it? It's a place in England. Is it a country? No, it's, no, it's not a country. It's uh, like a country, but it's not a country. It's in England. England is the country. Is it a city? Uh, no, it's bigger than a city. There are cities in Wales, like, uh, you know, like Welsh mining towns. Uh, you know, how green was my valley? Donald Crisp. I think you burnt it. It's the color. Is it a state? No, it's more than a state. It's like a country. It's like Scotland. You know what I think what happened was that it was a country once, and then England conquered it, and it became part of England. Well, according to my geography book, Wales and England are separate things. There's only one way to settle this. Let's see. Uh, England, Wales, and Scotland taken together comprise the island of Great Britain. Oh, England is part of Great Britain. I see. Why didn't you know that? When I had to know what I knew it. I can't remember everything. Try telling that to my geography teacher. Never mind. Just pay attention and learn everything right. What for? I'm just going to forget it when I grow up anyway. You won't forget everything. You did. It's there somewhere. I still don't get it. What don't you get? Is England a country? Of course it's a country. Why isn't it Wales a country? I don't know. That's a stupid book. Well, that's that. What are you doing? Are you giving up? Nat. Now listen, Bernard. If at first you don't succeed, you try and try again. Why? I don't know. Let's go. Thanks for the card. Well, that's the least I could do. Well, it was a nice gesture. Well, I thought of sending flowers, but then I thought... Nah, I got plenty of flowers. That's what I thought. How's business? <laughs> you tell me. You're the accountant. Keep your fingers crossed. I always do. Hey, Walter, why don't you use this desk? I'm leaving. Sure. Thank you. Take it easy. You too, Max. Hi, I brought you some coffee. Thank you, Laura. Black. Right. I was terribly sorry to hear about your wife. Yeah. I can appreciate how you feel. My boyfriend was just drafted. That's too bad. Oh, maybe not. We've been having a lot of fights lately. Well, maybe not fights, more like arguments. No, well, all couples have those. Do they? Absolutely. How long were you and your wife married? 18 years. Oh. That's practically my entire life. Yeah, well, time goes faster when you're married. Does it? Well, if you're happily married. I wonder if I'll ever be happily married. Of course you will, Laura. I'm not so sure. You take my word for it. When you really love someone, are you supposed to notice others of the opposite sex? Notice? What do you mean, notice? I mean, look at. Well, of course, I'm, I'm, unless you're blind, sure. Even when you're married? <laughs> yeah, well, especially if you're married. Oh, isn't that frustrating? It can be. I don't understand. Oh, life is a series of contradictions. Who does understand? Oh, that's terrible, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, well, uh, you learn to live with it. You're so wise, Mr. Benjamin. So mature. Comes with old age. Oh, you're not old. Laura, I'm old enough to be your father, practically. You don't remind me at all of my father. 
I think you'll find the books in uh, pretty good shape. It's good shape. Yeah, I study accounting at night, you know. That's nice. Where? Los Angeles Business College. Oh, that's where I went. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I was the old alma mater. Would you like to see? What? I mean, uh, what do you mean? Well, the Dramatic Society is putting on a show next weekend. Cyrano de Bergerac. I'm selling tickets. Uh, why are you in it? I'm not in this production. Oh, well, yeah, sure. I'll buy a ticket from you, Laura. Oh, <laughs> Friday, Saturday, or Sunday night? But it doesn't matter. I'm not going anyway. Is... Oh, you've got to go. What it's gonna, great. What do I want to go for? This is a kid's show. Oh, no, no. It's romantic. I want to go. It's life. It's terrific. It's <laughs> All right, right. I'll, I'll go. I'll go. Oh, when? When? Uh, Friday. How about Friday? <laughs> That's the night that I'm going to go. Oh, good. Then maybe I'll see you there. <laughs> I'll be sitting next to you. Would you believe that not once in my life has anybody ever asked me to go to the theater? Not once. And now look at me, Walter, Benjamin, Mr. First Nighter. Hello. 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 Uh, guess what I got in here? Your heart. <laughs> no. No, I, uh, I guess again. I give up. Uh, I'll give you a hint. What are you doing Saturday night? I wouldn't be going to the music center by any chance, <laughs> would I? Oh, that's a real. <laughs> what time will you call for me, uh, Walter? It's 7 o'clock. Uh, uh, but go down five minutes early. I don't want the Course. neighbors to know it. Good thinking. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, Walter. Oh, yes. Hello, Miss Vail. I, I was going to call you, but... <laughs> I just didn't have the time. I've been very busy. I can imagine. Well, as I always say, all work and no play makes Walter a dull boy. What are you doing Sunday night? Oh, I, I, uh, I have to stay home Sunday night, yes. Hmm. Well, I have a much better idea. I am going to take you to a show. Uh, no, no, no. I just couldn't let you do that, Mrs. Vare. No. Oh, but I am. Well, you see, actually, I got stuck with a pair of benefit tickets, and I just will not take no for an answer. Now, I'm really very sorry, but I have to go out Friday and Saturday night on business. Uh, I just can't leave my boys alone three nights in a row. Well, didn't Hallie tell you? She's taking the boys to a puppet show at the Y on Sunday night. No, she didn't tell me. What time do I pick it? I'm so surprised. I told you I'd be sitting next to you. you know, I, I really thought you were kidding. Why would I kid about a thing like that? Well, I mean, well, what do you want to sit next to an old geezer like me for? Well, you're a very attractive man. Me? Hasn't anyone ever told you that? No. My death draws near, and before this night is through, death will leave this soul still heavy with unspoken love. Roxanne, farewell. This very night, my love, my mind's eye sees you again, the way your small, soft hand brushed the hair from your forehead. When my heart cries out to you, my thoughts could never be with three. Sorry. My thoughts could never be so far from you in life. And now, in death's cold land, whatever that survives of me will love you beyond all measure. Let my death come from the blade of a hero. But I have had you, Roxanne, and because of you, my life has not been. Well, 
Harry certainly had a sad life. Poor Cyrano, lived in the wrong century. If he was alive today, he'd get his girl, big nose and all. You think so? I know so. Look at me. You don't have a big nose? What do I have, a small face? <laughs> you know, in my day, a pretty girl like you didn't go out with a man like me. Don't make it sound like your day's all over. I thought it was over, but it looks like a new day is dawning. Oh, well, I'll show you in the dawn together. You know, I sold you that ticket under false pretenses. I didn't really want to make a sale. I wanted to make a date. I know. Are you angry with me? Why should I be angry? The cheapest date I ever had. I didn't have to buy your ticket. Oh, well, the night's not over yet. Laura, I... I don't understand. Why me? You're a nice guy. There aren't too many around. And I like you. Aren't those enough reasons? I have a son almost your age. It's getting cold. Let's go to my apartment. And I have a better idea. Why don't I take you across the street to the campus drugstore and get you a nice hot shot? <laughs> sure that's a better idea? I know it's a better idea. Listen, I'm a big girl now. I know what I want. I'm a grown man. I know what I can't have. All right, I guess hot chocolate's better than nothing. He's still asleep. Maybe he's sick. Oh, he never gets sick. Maybe he's dead. Don't be a ghoul. It can't happen, you know. He's sleeping. He's never slept this late. He was out late last night. He's been out late before, but he's never slept this late. It's Saturday. He's entitled. If he's dead, we'll be full of orphans. He's not dead. I wonder if he has much insurance. Will you please choose the subject? An ostrich avoids unpleasant facts by hiding his head in the sand. Everything you know except geography. I wonder if he was out with a woman last night. He wasn't. How do you know? He only had one ticket to the play. I looked in his wallet. What'd you do that for? Because if he's going to start going out with women, I want to know about it. How come? Because any woman he goes out with can wind up our stepmother. Is that good or bad? Depends. On what? On the woman. Morning, boys. Good morning, Dad. How do you feel, Dad? Oh, how do you feel when you get up? How come you sleep so late? How come you ask so many questions? Do you want me to make you some coffee, Dad? Oh, that's a very generous offer, Carl. Thank you. Dad, yeah, get your feet off the table. Oh. Interesting? So-so. You know, if it gets too boring, you might turn to your geography book. That reminds me. Miss Spencer called you last night. I don't know any Miss Spencer. My math teacher. What does she want? She wanted to talk to you. What else? About your work? I guess so. My conduct's been okay. Conduct. He's got to get braces, Carl. How's your work been? Lousy. I can't seem to catch on to the new math. Even after I helped you? One time. It's the only time you asked me to help you. Well, you made such a big fuss about it, I thought I'd just do it alone. Sink or swim. We're all out of coffee, Dad. How did that happen? Well, don't look at me. I don't drink this stuff. Hey, Dad. You can have my milk. Very funny. You should have seen we were running low. Well, you should have let me know that we were running low. You have eyes? Use them. Didn't Miss Spence want me to call her back? She didn't say. What did she say? She said she'd call you tonight. I can't talk to her tonight. Why? Because I'm going out tonight. Where? To an alumni meeting. See? Drink your comic book. <laughs> What are you doing here? I pushed down. It went up. It was about five minutes, we said. We we're not supposed to be seen to... I'm not exactly a connoisseur of the arts, 
but I do pride myself in knowing what's happening at the music center, at least. Well, would you believe it? I got the tickets. I got Evelyn, but I was so excited I forgot to ask what play we're seeing. Well, a critic I'm not. That kind of an offer. How could a lady refuse? I want her to stay home and watch Mod Squad. Next week. Mr. Benjamin. Oh, Mr. Mrs. Borg. How are you? You know my husband, Mr. Borg. Mm hmm. How are you, Mr. Borg? I had no idea you went to the theater. If I had known that, you could have driven in our car. Yeah, well, uh, next time. Uh, are you a season subscriber? Uh, oh, uh, 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 no, I'm not. We're season subscribers. Oh, oh, uh, uh, that's nice. Uh, where, where do you sit? In the orchestra, naturally. Yeah. Uh, I'm in the mezzanine. <laughs> well, maybe we'll see you during intermission. Oh, I'll keep an eye out for you. Come on, Martha, we better get going. It's almost curtain time. Come. Uh, no, no, I, I, I left somebody. Uh, something in the glove compartment, so I have, I have to go get it. Oh, we'll wait for you. Oh, uh, uh, no, it's all right. I, I don't want you to be late for the show. It takes a long time in that compartment. <laughs> all right, come on, Martha, let's go. Martha, come on. All right. Oh, Evelyn, I'm sorry. Oh. Look at you here. Oh. Maybe we shouldn't go. We're here, what? No, but they're going to see us. No, they won't. We have to be up there. All right, okay, all right. Lay down. Get you a drink? Uh, just let me relax a few minutes. All right. The running of this ten flights of it's too much. I feel like I've been through World War Three. It was a mistake. We shouldn't have gone out tonight. Tell me something. Is it possible that it was the Borgs? Or was that the worst play ever written? It certainly seemed like the longest. I'm exhausted. Are well, you very tired? Oh, poor thing. Thing. Look, look, why don't you just lie down and put your head in my lap? There, what, do you, what, right? do what do you mean, not lap? Yeah. Come on. You mean in your lap? In my lap. What, about, what about my Oh, shirt? don't worry, don't worry about those. But, uh, but, uh, no. It's all right? It's all right. It's all right. It's really okay? It's all, uh, all right. There. It's nice. Yeah. Thank you very much. Look, I, I, I think I'll just slip into something more comfortable myself. You just, okay. just stretch out and make yourself at home. Oh, could I have a pillow? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Can I have another one? Oh. Just because it's, yeah. it's not... I... Uh... All right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come right back. You know, I think the best thing about going out at night is coming home again. Especially if you come home with someone you like. Of course, if you hadn't always behaved like a perfect gentleman, <laughs> I can assure you that door would not have opened for you tonight. But since you are such a gentleman, I know you can be trusted. I think mutual trust between people is very important, don't you? In fact, in my opinion, it's one of the few things that make life really worthwhile. And I like to believe that life is worthwhile. 
That's why I'm so happy that I've finally found someone I can really trust. You have no idea what... Tracy's in trouble. Would you let me find out for myself? They really might have him this time. It'll be okay. He's in an awful tight spot. He's not had tight spots before. Not this tight. Would you stop worrying about Dick Tracy? I can't help it. I'm emotionally involved. Drink your milk. That's not going to help Dick Tracy. Forget Dick Tracy. That must have been some late alumni meeting. It's alumni. You know, Dad's right. You do need braces. What does that alumni mean again? It's where a bunch of old guys get together and they talk about college. They sure do have an awful lot to talk about. Poor Dad. He has to go out again tonight. He doesn't have to if he doesn't want to. He has to. Who's making him? Aunt Hallie. She wants him to marry Mrs. Vale. Do you think he will? It's too early to tell. You know, you're right. Dick Tracy is in trouble. I told you. Morning, kids. Hi, Dad. Morning, Dad. Would you like some coffee? Why do we have some? You bet. I... Well, how do you take it? Sugar. Oh, I, I didn't buy sugar. No sugar. Right. It's better for you. Let's see what's new. Oh, hey, Dick Tracy's in trouble. Right. Mm. Miss Spencer called last night. Shh. Dad, Miss Spencer called last night. Now, who's Miss Spencer? My math teacher. Oh, she called again last night? Right after you left. Did she leave a number? She said she called you again tonight. But you know I'm going out tonight. He forgot. How could you forget? She makes me nervous. She makes me nervous and I haven't even met her yet. You're not missing much. Dad, what does Mrs. Vale look like? Uh, she's, Mrs. Vale is a... Uh, it's very hard to describe. Well, it's kind of impossible. She's nondescript. What does that mean? She probably won't be our stepmother. Is that true, Dad? Drink your milk. <laughs> Drink your milk. Drink your milk. Go ahead. What's the matter? I don't got a finger. <laughs> Oh, no, I'll wait out here. Come in. <laughs> Maybe I will come in. <laughs> My, you look good enough to eat. <laughs> Please, Mrs. Vale. <laughs> well, I'm just finishing my dessert. Won't you join me? Oh, no, I couldn't. I... <laughs> <laughs> now, how can you say no to that? No? <laughs> oh, Mr. Benjamin. <laughs> there we are. <clears throat> How are the boys? Oh, they're fine, fine. Oh, I'm so anxious to meet them. Well, maybe we will someday. Maybe we can all go to a movie next weekend? No, 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 not next weekend. Oh, still so busy. Oh, yes. Eat, eat. Oh, yes, I will. Mm. Uh, even busier now. Mm -hmm. yes. I'll bet you haven't had a moment's relaxation since we went to the movies. Not one moment. Oh, mm. Well, I'm so glad I got you to take tonight off. By the way, uh, uh, what movie are we going to see? Oh, we're not going to see a movie. I have such a surprise for you. We're going to see the new play at the Music Center. you love it. I hear it's wonderful. Where's your father? He's still asleep. You mean he doesn't fix your breakfast? Usually he's up. Usually we make him breakfast. He must have been out late last night. With that lady you want him to marry. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I'll let you in. No, no, don't worry. I'll ring the bell. He might not hear you. I'll ring until he does. Tell him I left a message in a shoe. Yeah, what message? That my math teacher called again last night and wants to see him after school today. 
I'll tell them. We have to go in, Hallie. No phone runs for dinner. <laughs> wants to see you after school. For this you had a barge in here like the United States Marines? I need... Why did you insult Mrs. Vale? I did not insult Mrs. Vale. It's not an insult for an escort to fall asleep through an entire performance at the music center, huh? I couldn't help myself. What do you mean you couldn't help yourself? What, were you bitten by a teetsy fly? I'm surprised that woman wants to even see you again. It surprises me, too. Do you know what she's worth? I didn't make an audit. You name it, she's got it. Stocks, bonds, second deed, trust. Second trust deeds. Oh, whatever she's got. For me, she's a pot roast. Pot roast is good for you. And what about those boys? But, Hallie, you don't understand. We don't like it. I... Oh, oh, excuse me. Yeah? Uh, do you know where I can find the teacher's office? Sure, right there. It's my kid. Mm. Yes? Oh, Miss Spencer? Yes? Yes, I'm Walter Benjamin. Bernard's father? Oh, yes. Come in. Shut the door. Pull up a chair. Sit down. You wanted to see me? I phoned you at home three nights in a row. Oh, yes, I was, I was very busy. I was working, and I... Uh... You're an accountant, aren't you? That, that's correct, ma'am. Yes, my brother is an accountant, and uh, he doesn't work nights this time of the year. You're right, I wasn't working. Mr. Benjamin, do you realize that Bernard is failing math? I was afraid of that. What did you say? Afraid? I was afraid of that, I said. Is that all you have to say? Well, that's terrible. I will speak to him tonight about it, and I... Are you planning on being home this evening? I, what? Uh, the, yes, naturally. Well, you can't blame me for wondering. Well, I bet you think I go out all the time. Don't you? Um, the bell rang. Ignore it. Well, don't you? Don't I what? Don't you go out all the time? Of course not. I, I, I just I happen to be out those few weeks. Mr. Things. Benjamin, we are both going to have to do a lot of back-breaking work to bring Bernard through this course. You're absolutely right, of course. I, it's just, I'll do anything you say, anything. Will you? Well, anything within reason, of why do you equivocate? Well, I can't devote all my life to, to new men. I do. Not 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day. Oh, now look, Miss Spencer. You try your best and I try my best and we'll try to pull Bernard through. Fine. But if we can't pull Bernard through, well, perhaps he's not trying his best. After all, you are the teacher, but you are also a human being. You can't begin your life and end your life in a classroom. You are a woman, so be a woman. <laughs> I didn't mean that. But that's not what... I didn't know. Female companionship. I'd like to introduce you to someone. Well, Helen, to mind their own business. Oh, I wish I could. Harry, you don't know what's going on today. Where? All over. Things aren't what they used to be. What kind of things? Women. They're not? They look the same, right? But they act a lot differently. What do you mean? I'll take an ordinary guy like me. I got more than I can handle. You're kidding. I'm not kidding. No kidding. Sugar. Black. Oh, uh, how's your cleaning woman working out? What day is today? Thursday the 14th. Oh, my... Today is her day! Hey, Walter, what? You got my onion! Hey, miss, could I have another onion? Or an onion, anything. Get in here. The superintendent let me in. What did you tell him? Oh, I told him I was your maid. And he, he believed you. He let me in. <laughs> Listen, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I want to talk to you. Ooh, 
about what? No, 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 not about that. Oh. <laughs> Olga, you know I'm very fond of you. <laughs> Anytime you need an accountant, you know you can feel free to call on me. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't need your services. That's what I mean. That's what I'm trying to tell you. What? I don't need your services either. Goodbye, Mr. Benjamin, and thank you. Anything. <laughs> Could I tell you something? Sure. Your wife was very lucky. Thank you. And if I... I mean, when I settle down. You know what I mean, get married. I hope that I can meet a fellow like you. Wow, that's the nicest thing I ever heard. It's true. <laughs> Goodbye, Olga. Goodbye, Mr. Benjamin. Thank you. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, no, 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 no I mean no, it, I mean no. it. Coffee. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Benjamin. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that woman? Shh. What woman? The one that just left this apartment. That was no woman, that was my maid. You expect me to believe that? As the superintendent. I just like to go and see how well your maid cleans up. No, 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 don't, wait a minute, hold it. Uh, don't, don't, don't go in there. Why not? Because you're going to get the wrong idea. I doubt that. Oh, you're not, wait a minute. Evelyn, I'm going to be honest I'm with you. listening. I really did hire her as a maid. She's not very thorough. Oh, no, let, let, let's face it, she's not a maid. A man like you shouldn't have to pay for a woman. I really thought she was a maid. You really need a maid. I got trapped into this arrangement. What could I do? You could make other arrangements. I feel awful. Move your feet. Don't you have work to do? I can't work while you're doing this. You shouldn't be cleaning my house. You can't expect the maid to do it. Oh, uh, my kids are coming home from school soon. They won't. It's their late day. Don't touch the boat. Right. Thursday is the boys' day at the Y. How'd you know that? I didn't. I only know they come home late on Thursday. Well, how did you know they Who come home? Feet? How did you know they come home late on Thursday? I look through the peephole. You look through the peephole too? All the time, don't you? <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I thought I was unique. You're not unique. How about that? I see all the comings and goings on this floor. How come you didn't see Olga the first time she came? That was an oversight. It won't happen again. She won't be here again. She better not be. Oh, I built that too. It's cute. From Moby Dick. Both crazy. Mm. I can't get over you looking through people. <laughs> you think you're the only one that likes to see what's going on? Can I confess something to you? I should hope so, at this stage of our relationship. You know, long before I ever met you, I, I, I used to look at you. You did? Mm hmm through the people? Uh-uh. Through, through my bedroom window. Your, your bedroom faces my bedroom. You, you looked at me and I took my clothes off. And... Everything. That disgusting! Oh! Oh, what hurt, Evelyn! No, I am tired. Yeah. So, Walter, I've been thinking about you getting married. No, no. No more matchmaking. Forget about it. I'm thinking about the life you've been leading. My life is not so bad. Exactly. That's what I mean. You've had opportunities you've never had before. While you're an eligible widower, you've got a good income. I've got Helen. That's true. It's yeah. true. It, it is and it isn't. I mean, it has points, but... Come on, come on. Give me the scoop. Tell me all about it, huh? <clears throat> it's no better roses. It's true that... A lot of women are running after me, but I tell you, life gets so complicated. I... Oh, I should have it that complicated. Come on, come on, Walter. Tell me all about it. All these months I've been worried about you, Walter Benjamin. You've been having a ball. I admit I've had oh, it. I, I knew it, I knew it. Now talk, who, who? And talk please, slowly. Please, Harry, yeah. listen to me. You don't know them. Them? I knew it was more than one. Come on, tell I me who. Can't, I can't tell you. Who are you going to tell, Harley? I'm your best friend. I grew up with you. We went to college together. We graduated together. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. All right, all right, come on, I'd talk. Love, I'd love to tell you, yeah. Harry. I can't. It's, it's unethical. And besides, believe me when I tell you, it's not that much fun. Would you let me be the judge of that? Why, if I were in your booth, well, but you're not even good looking. No wonder you don't want to get married. Mm. <laughs> Sylvia. Sylvia. 
Why did you have to leave me, hmm? Why? You don't know what's going on? You just don't know. Women, young ones, old ones, chasing, flirting with me, even hitting me. Why didn't you tell me how attractive I was, huh? Ah, what's the difference? It's still lonely. You know, a man like me needs somebody he can trust, somebody, somebody like you. If, uh, tell you the truth, if I could find somebody like that, I'd, I'd snap her up in a minute. Hey, Dad, is the maid gone? Huh? Yeah, she's gone. Hey, Dad, what's for dinner? Get your feet off the desk. I just, the maid just cleaned the house. Boy, you know, the place sure looks nice the day she's here. Yeah, doesn't it? Come on, Dad, what's for dinner? I'll show you what's for dinner. We'll go look in the refrigerator. And <laughs> what's for dinner? Carl, check the kitchen, see what we got. <laughs> hey, Dad? What? There's a PTA meeting Tuesday after school. Please come. Why? Because I get extra credit if you do. Well, we need all the extra credit we can get. <laughs> Good attendance. I think we accomplished a lot. Now, why don't you all go over here and have some refreshments and discuss some of the improvements we mentioned earlier at the meeting? No, it's not my fault. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's my fault. Oh, no, it's my fault. Sure, that's my fault. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sure. I'm Walter Benjamin. Uh, Hope Backlund. You come to these PTA meetings often? Oh, no. No, this is my first one. It's mine, too. Uh, did you also just move here? No, no, no. My wife used to come to these things, and uh, she passed away. Oh. oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I've been like a fish out of water ever since. Well, I know how that is. My husband died last year. I'm oh, sorry. Mm. So am I. He was a very nice guy. Pardon me. May I borrow this chair? Oh, sure. Thank you. How many kids do you have? Two. Uh, girls. Uh, 11 and 15. Girls. Always wanted girls. Always. My wife and I, we, well, so we... I mean, I have two boys. Uh, eight and 14. Oh, well, my husband and I always wanted boys. Now, you're better off with girls, believe me. Especially now. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. Sometimes it's nice to have a man around the house. Well, you won't have any trouble attracting men. No, but I've had plenty of trouble repelling them. Oh, I know what you mean. Even a homely guy like me has got his hands full. Why, you're not homely. What am I, Paul Newman? I shouldn't imagine you'd want to be. I want to be. Oh, <laughs> you're very nice. Now, wait till you get to know me better. No, I usually find that my first impressions are correct. You keep talking like that, you're going to find another man to repel. I'm not afraid of you, Mr. Benjamin. That's Walter. All right, Walter. <laughs> what do you know about the nomads, Mrs. Ackland? Call me Hope. Can you beat that? After all I've been through, I have to go to a PTA meeting to find hope? Even Sylvie would like it. Well, maybe it is corny, but listen, what's wrong with happy endings? <laughs>